Welcome to the world famous Granville Island. I'm Michael and in this video I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Granville Island in under five minutes. Here we go! Now I know you want to know about this, the Granville Island Public Market. We're going to get to that at the end of the video because first we're going to learn a little bit about the history and what else is on the island. So right after the city of Vancouver built the Granville Street Bridge they needed more space for industrial facilities so they actually filled in a bunch of land into Falls Creek to create this small island. It's actually a peninsula now which they named Industrial Island. However, because it was underneath the Granville Street Bridge, the name Granville Island stuck. Now the first building you'll come across on Granville Island is the Kids Market, which you'll know because it has a kids entrance. Don't worry, it also has an adult door. It's like a big indoor playground for kids and it has a ton of toy stores. It's great. Oh, thank you. There's a pet store and a real train caboose. This amphitheater style park right here was actually created when the city of Vancouver decided they wanted to clean up Granville Island and all of the excess concrete and fill got dumped here and eventually covered in soil and grass giving us, giving us this great park. And there is a hotel here on Granville Island creatively named the Granville Island Hotel. So in all my research I actually couldn't figure out what this specifically did but clearly remnants of the industrial past here on Granville Island. Now of course in the marina you can park your boat or your yacht but you can also live here in a floating house. Is that a houseboat? Like, like is that a technical term? Literally it's... Now as all of the industry started to move out of their warehouses and factories, quickly artists started springing up and creating studios in those same spaces. Blacksmiths, goldsmiths, to woodworkers, to leather workers, to broomstick makers, distilleries, breweries, painting, and even glass blowing. So while Granville Island has become a huge tourist destination, there is still one company that's still here from its old industrial days, the Ocean Cement Company. Ooh, but they did put in one of these giant ball marble maze things. These are so fun. There are no new buildings on Granville Island. They're all the original industry factory warehouse buildings. Even this parking garage is from the old Chain and Forge Company, which was established here in 1922. If you're coming down in the evening, there's a bunch of great restaurants, a few good bars, and even a handful of fantastic theaters. So there's lots to do. Now, for the public market. It's split into two sides. One is the grocery side, that's where you get your fruits and vegetables, your seafood, your meat, your fresh made cheeses, fresh made pasta, bagels, chocolate, whatever you want, they have it. They also have a food for now side, sort of like a food court, but it's all local vendors and local restaurants. There's no McDonald's or anything on that side. And out here, I know it's quite quiet at the moment, but normally it's packed with tourists who have just gotten their food. They're out here soaking up the sun, enjoying the view, eating their lunch, and there's usually some sort of musical performer or busker of some sort that's they're usually great. So how do you get here? Of course you can drive but let's be honest parking is tight. Now of course you can walk in fact anywhere in Vancouver just walk towards the water it'll bring you to the seawall and then follow that to Granville Island. But my favorite way to get there is via the False Creek Ferries or Aquabus is also good. They range from 350 to sort of 550 depending on where you're coming from in the city. These little boats you can catch them anywhere. It's definitely the most relaxing way to get there. And the most picturesque. Thank you. Ah, oh, sorry. Ah. That thing is so cute. Okay, what next? It has a water park, tennis courts and basketball courts, a kayak and canoe club. And the more you wander around and discover different studios and shops, the more you'll also see art and history hidden all over the place as well. Okay, I'm going to show you one more thing. There's a store here dedicated to only selling hammocks. Honestly, Granville Island has something for everyone. If you're in Vancouver, you must come see it. Guys, the channel is Downey Live. You can subscribe by clicking my face right there because our goal is to show you the best of the world. So if you want to see more of it, click subscribe. Come along because we don't know where we're going next, but I know I want you there with me. See you later.